This is my first time not having the fuzzy thing. Also, it's been a while. Hi. Uh, but I just want to talk about this movie. Hello, darlings, and welcome to Care Off Book, where we talk about different movies. Who knows what we're doing on this channel, but this is what I know we are doing today, and that's to talk about Inside Out 2. Now, did anyone else know that Inside Out 2 was coming? I don't know why this was such a surprise. I didn't see any promotions for it or anything, but I knew I wanted to go see it and I was so excited about it. I had to go see Inside Out 1 again. I remember the first time watching Inside Out and I cried my eyes out. I was like, I'm probably not going to cry this time. Like I know what's to happen. I play this movie. I'm in my red blanket and I'm bawling my eyes out. So I was like, wow, what can Inside Out 2 do? as far as what's going on with the character Riley. And of course, this is now going into not her, you know, younger kid years, which is why I think I had such an effect <laughs> or this movie had such an effect on me uh, because it was just, I don't know, I think it was the bing bong scene. I'm part cat, part elephant, part dog. And it was just about the things that you forget or like letting go a bit of pieces of your childhood. I don't know, leave me alone. So Inside Out 2, I'm like, oh my gosh, Riley going through puberty. So this episode isn't going to be like as long as my other episodes are. I just wanted to start a conversation and wonder what you guys think. But here we go. Here are my thoughts about the movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. I had the giggles. There were things in it that I loved. For example, when we went to Riley's Dark Secrets and the computer character or video game character, that destroyed me. Now, I'm not going to go into it because overall, I do recommend go see the movie, enjoy it, have a couple giggles. I saw it in 3D and listen, it was actually really enjoyable. I'm usually not the kind of girl that like goes to 3D movies and whatever, but I think this was like the perfect amount of 3D that it was cool to see it like that versus jump scares. I cannot with jump scares, but yeah, so I actually think it is good whether just going to see it in a theater or seeing it 3D, it is enjoyable. Now, here are the things if I had to choose which one I enjoyed, Inside Out or Inside Out 2? Inside Out, the first one. The reason why is because in Inside Out 2, there was a lot more characters coming in. And I, so you had to learn about, not just about these emotions coming in, whether it was, I called him blush, but it's like embarrassment and ennui, which is the French for boredom and stuff and envy and of course anxiety. So there's those emotions, but you're also learning Riley's friends, the new players on that hockey team that she potentially could be on that coach and stuff. So there's a lot of characters that you have to learn about quickly. And so I found that distracting. And of course, there's more characters within the mind of Riley um, when it comes to the guards, when it comes to the people in Riley's, you know, dark secrets and things like that. Listen, I'll be, mm, dare I say, yeah. I think some characters didn't even have to be there and it caused me to have more questions. Like, okay, but what is the point of these characters? Do they, like these emotions, do they just stay there? Like we learned in the first movie that the core emotions is like sadness, anger, joy, fear, and disgust. And then it's like, okay, now there's these new guys. Do they just stay around puberty? But as adults, we know that's not true. Do they just go high? Do they? I found myself maybe thinking too much about it. And then I just didn't find the ending as, um, like I didn't find peace with it. I don't know why. I guess I wanted there to be more of an exile of anxiety. But again, the reality is, is that anxiety is going to be there whether you like it or not. And yeah, so I mean, listen, I know this is a quick episode. That's just my thoughts. I did overall enjoy the movie. Um, if you saw it, what did you think of the movie? Do you prefer this movie more 
than the first one? If so, why? Now, can we talk about the previews? Thank you. So I saw the, a little piece of Moana 2 and I'm excited. I'm excited to see that we're seeing Moana grow up as well. <laughs> and I was like, this is great. The only thing that bugs me is why are we having a Moana live action and a Moana 2? It just feels like they're conflicting and I'm not for it. But yes, anyway, Starlings, that is it for today's episode. I don't know when I'll be back. I know I will because I also saw a company and it's on tour and I enjoyed it. So I do want to talk about that with you darlings. And yeah, just let me know what musicals are out. What musicals are out there anymore? You know what I mean? I'm just a California girl trying to figure it out. Um, but in the meantime, please enjoy the theater and musicals and things like that. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ay, ay, ay. I'm like totally a YouTuber now. But yeah. All right, bye.